teach English as a second language um, play an important role, certainly with all of the immigration that we have. We have the executive director of TESOL, which is Teachers for English as a Second Language Ontario, Renata Tilson here. Good to have you here. Hello, thank you. And it's becoming more and more necessary because uh, we continue to uh, enjoy we strong immigration. Newcomers, absolutely. No doubt. That's right. And so lots of classes have at least one or two kids that um, are still learning how to uh, yes. speak English. And we teach primarily adults. Is that Actually, right? Our membership primarily teaches adult learners. And yes. again, as an adult trying to learn a second it's even language. even harder. Oh. Mm. And a language as silly as English with all of its... Uh, pitfalls and uh, mm -hmm. and contradictions. It must be tricky. It must be challenging to teach it. I would imagine. It most certainly is. Mm -hmm. um, our organiza organization serves 4,700 um, ESL professionals within Ontario. Wow. We have just had a our 41st Tessa Ontario conference for uh, over 1,400 registrants just ended on Saturday, so that was very successful. That's amazing. Yes. it's. Um, so it's a support network for teachers who teach English, is that right? Yes, we serve them in a, in a number of ways. Um, um, I would like to read you our vision statement, which is very few words, but it says it all about the, the job our teachers do, okay. if you don't mind. Absolutely. I have to get the words right. Um, TESA Ontario is a supportive community empowering educational professionals to help English language learners to thrive. And that is the end result of all we do, all this huge network we have in place. To thrive That's in education, in business, in well, their social the large, networks, in their life. There you go. Life skills as well. The largest barrier, of course, is language acquisition. And uh, that is what our um, teachers teach. But it is so much wider than that. In, in, many, in many cases, they're the very first contact uh, with the learner and probably the most important one for a long, long time. You mean that once someone arrives in Canada, very often an ESL teacher will be and a, really? Uh, yeah, oh, I, I'm not saying they are, they are at the airport, too. Uh, but, but once a learner uh, enters uh, a language class, the teacher provides so many other aspects, social and cultural. And just imagine you're, it's, it's like you're on Mars, right? You need to find out where you get your social security card. You need to do this, you need to do that. You have to find out how people communicate very differently, probably, than if in, in their homeland. And of course, the ultimate challenge is you need to find a job. Mm. That's, that is the end result. So the uh, settlement um, area is, is, is a very important one to cover for our teachers. We don't necessarily have a lot of strong customs or cultural uh, aspects to uh, Canada, Canadian life, but there could be some things you would inadvertently do accidentally if you didn't know that would offend people or, or make people think poorly of you. So uh, all of that they have to learn as well, uh, right? Those, those social norms. Absolutely. It, you don't... So there are so many barriers and so many stages to get to the ultimate uh, challenge of finding a job and then uh, what, what is added to that as well. That's right. Uh, you would like to find a job in your own field. Oh, of course. That is not easy for newcom newcomers. Very often they work in, in um, a job to feed their family that is not necessarily um, what they you know, want. their training and what they want. You had a couple of big things happen recently. Mm -hmm. The annual conference and uh, ESL Week was last oh, week. Oh, ESL Week. It is always the week uh, of our conference. And we have had support from 58 communities throughout Ontario who have proclaimed ESL Week. And what the week is all about is to celebrate teaching and learning of English. And we have a creativity contest for both teachers and learners. And uh, it, it's just, it's joyful. 
I bet. Yes. Some of the people who uh, entered the contest and won mm -hmm. have some pretty powerful stories Absolutely. to tell, don't they? Absolutely, and our website lists them all in, in detail. You really, so. It's more than just a language, as you say. You're really helping people, really helping them change their lives for the better. It's such an important service, and it's so mm -hmm. great to hear that there is an organization that supports teachers who are are right in there helping those people. Absolutely, and it is our teachers that uh, do that. And the most amazing thing is everyone I've spoken to that has been doing this for a long time, every one of our members says, we are learning as much mm. from our learners as they are learning from me, and it is it's wonderful. Oh, you hear that yeah. a lot, don't you? Thank you yeah. so much. For more information, tesselontario.net. That's T-E-S-L, Ontario.net.